We're here live at Winona High School, home of the Dragons, here in the weight room where all the hard work gets done. If you don't put the work in in the weight room or in the classroom, it'd be hard to do it on the field. Here speaking with head coach Ronald Cheatham, quarterback Aubrey Robertson, and running back Tyler Thornton. So Aubrey Robertson, as the starting quarterback here at Winona High School, you're a student athlete, you're the leader of the team. How important is it for you to set a positive example for your teammates on and off the field? It's very important to set a good example for your teammates because they're watching you. And the next time they become leaders on the team, they follow in your footsteps. Mm -hmm. And they just want to be like you, or the better version of you. Gotcha. Well, I've seen you play over the past couple of years. Uh, i kind of seen your game grow. In the last game I seen you play against Parker, you made a play that kind of opened my eyes much. You had plenty of room to run. You stayed behind the line, and then you threw the ball. Guy caught it over the middle. Uh, just kind of seeing those things with the NFL just now starting back and college just now starting back. What's one, what's one guy that you can think of that you try to model your game after? I try to model my game after uh, Russell Wilson type because he's my height. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And he makes smart plays, good decisions. He's a great leader. It's a team concept of him with him. That's it. Well, that's not a bad guy to model yourself after. Uh, I think he's really set the standard uh, for guys who are shorter this uh, coming into the NFL, kind of giving guys more hopes. Mm -hmm. For a long time, it was just Drew Brees. Now a lot of guys can look after Russell Wilson. And I think if you keep modeling yourself after him and stay on that path, you'll do good. Yeah. Appreciate your time. No problem. So Tyler Thornton, you're a senior running back. You've been here for several years now. I understand that last year you guys didn't quite finish the season how you wanted to. What are some of the things you can take from last season and that you can use for this year and build upon to help you guys reach your goals? Well, I want to start with leadership. Leadership is not the same. It's way better than it was last year. We got a lot of guys stepping up, a lot of young boys making plays. So just a different team all around. So based on what you just said, you know, being a running back, and you guys have a fast-paced offense. Just talk about some of the toughest things that it takes that requires a lot of practice going into a game for you to do your job and do it well. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say block. You know, with a lot of fast pace, a lot of downhill running that we do, kind of get a little winded sometimes. You know, coming in with a couple pass plays, blocking. I say that's probably just the toughest thing. Okay. Well, it was good hearing from you guys. We're really looking forward to seeing you guys in the future. I understand that you guys play Fairfield this weekend. Um, it's an area game, so if you guys keep that defense strong like it's been to start the year off, I think you guys will do all right. Appreciate it. All right. Here with head coach Cheatham. I mean, last weekend, your defense made a strong stand against Parker, had a game-winning interception. Uh, just talk about how that momentum carried you guys into practice and preparation for Fairfield tomorrow. Well, it's always been our philosophy here. You know, as long as you play defense, you always got an opportunity to stay close, you know, and maybe get a play or two here or there and win ball games. And you can look across the nation, the teams that are successful, look at the defensive side of the football. So football, you know, football is based on defense. You know, it's always cliche about offense, sale tickets, but defense win right. championship. And so, you know, we've always had that philosophy here. It's always kept us, and as long as you can play well on that side of the ball, you always got an opportunity to win. True. Uh, speaking of that defensive philosophy and how it carries you, it's carried you guys to a 3-0 and record so far, started off the season as well as many teams in the state. Um, just talk about how it is important to keep you guys focused and keep you guys on that track and not get too ahead of themselves by being 3-0. and Well, you know what I mean? You enjoy the win and then you move on to the next day. You know, we've been around here doing this stuff for a long time. You know, and being a long time veteran coach, you understand football is a week-to-week -week game. You know, I, you know, I call it from the penthouse to the outhouse in, in seven days. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, so in then football, most people don't understand that it's about it's about 20% physical and 80% and mm -hmm. mental. And so, you know what I mean? So, mental preparation, you know, for a physical game, mental preparation to work and it's hot. Mental preparation, you know, it's all about mindset. You know, even on a rainy day when you got to go out and do it in a hundred degree heat day when you got to go out and do it. So you got to build that mindset, you know what I mean, that, you know, the job got to get done. And then once that happens, you know, the mental part of the game kind of, you know, plays as well, you know, huge yeah. in sports. 
Well, just watching you guys this year, um, I've been able to see the work that you guys put into the weight room. You can see it on the field. You have a number amount of guys that are out there getting the job done. But the one thing that kind of pleases me as a former student athlete is just seeing guys giving a bunch of effort. Is right. effort one of the biggest things you guys preach as well? Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? Without effort, you know, you're not going to get anything <laughs> done. I don't care what you do from academics, how, you know what I mean, classroom work to, you know, just a regular job. You know what I mean? you got to have a work ethic about yourself, you know, and that's something we've been preaching around here since I've been in we know for 20-some years. You know, you got to go to work. And that goes back to the Bible. The Bible says the lazy will never get what they want. Yeah, you know, and so you got to work, and that's what we preach, and uh, you got to want to work, and then if you don't want to work, you don't expect the good things in life, or everything has to be paid. Every price is paid, you know, with, with how much effort and work you want to put into anything. That's true. Well, Coach, I really appreciate your time. Okay. I wish you guys the best of luck for the rest of the season. And most importantly, you got a game tomorrow versus Fairfield at uh, 7 p.m., so good luck tomorrow, and we'll be talking to you soon. Hey, thank you very much. Bye-bye.